behind the scene, this one, this is a pretty interesting thread because this actually has to do with, you know, something that I think a lot of people know is that Twitter is used, and like we said earlier this episode, for influence operations by governments all over the world. I think most famously people know about like the Saudi, you know, you tweet anything about Saudi Arabia, there'll be 50 guys underneath you, mm. you know, saying basically like bot farms or troll farms out there. Israel very famously does it. Pakistan, India also do it. Uh, and America, which we find out a little bit about in this. So he says, behind the scenes, Twitter gave approval and special protection to the U.S. military's online psychological influence ops. U.S. Central Command, a.k.a. CENTCOM, emails to Twitter with a list of accounts used to amplify certain messages. That means, like, there's, like, a guy in... I can't remember. What, Colorado. Is it, is it Colorado? Yes. Yeah. Who's oh, just, Out like, in the mountains. Or, like, at Fort Bragg. I think it's, I think that's where PSYOPs is. Mm. Uh, or, like, the Special Forces PSYOPs or whatever. Uh, you know, on the internet being like, I am uh, Baina. <laughs> um, and... Uh, you know, asking basically, say, for a whitelist tag, which means they have a blue check without a blue check. Yes. Meaning they're exempt from spam slash abuse flags and will be more visible and likely to trend. I love it. So there's a lot. Basically, Twitter is being used by or working hand in glove. Wow. Essentially, with the uh, mm-hmm. with the motherfucking Pentagon um, to, <laughs> you know, to amplify do, state propaganda. So there. I looked at some of these accounts, and one of them was like, it was called like Yem- Yemen Lives, or something. it was something to do with Yemen. <laughs> and Yemen it was Lives, clearly, like it had been matter. deleted at some point, and some guy took the screen name who just oh. like posted in Spanish. And like when it, then the article came out, he was like, "I am working for the Pentagon," and all this <laughs> stuff. Um, uh, but it, I mean, you, you'll see these accounts every so often. I mean, I, I guess I don't really see any accounts very often, but like, uh, you know, it'll be like, obviously there's some guy in fucking whatever stateside behind Well, I think some, for some people it might not be that obvious. No, I think for most people, I think it's supposed to, and especially for the target audience, it's probably not that obvious. Yeah. There's like, so there's a lot of internal emails that basically confirm that Twitter has this like vast you know, that Twitter knows about the vast network of DOD accounts that are used for state propaganda. Um, here's a quote from Lee. Twitter actively assisted CENTCOM's network going back to 2017 and as late as 2020. And again, that's only based on the files that he was shown. Uh, as late as 2020, knew these accounts were covert, designed to deceive, to manipulate the discourse, and a violation of Twitter's policies and promises. So, I mean, at this point, it doesn't seem like there's a government agency that Twitter is not working with. Yeah, either if that's by virtue of who Twitter is or basically who, I mean, the government's probably, I mean, they're doing this with Twitter. They're doing this with everyone, right? Yeah. I think that's a safe assumption. Um, Eventually, and this is the part of Twitter Files 9, is that the FBI responds. It's kind of interesting, right, that they yeah. that kind of came out and respond. I got to say, like... Again, like we explained at the beginning, I think because of the nature of who was putting out these files, that it's mm-hmm. by Elon and that it's being threaded on Twitter in this very like difficult to parse, decontextualized way that is tweets. Yeah. AKA it's not in one piece at New York Times. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 That. The people really picking up on this in the news media, real news media, is like Tucker Carlson. Yeah, yeah. And Rumble people, well, which it, I still don't totally know what that is, by the way, but I, don't explain it to I me. I think Rumble is just – I actually don't really – I mean, I, I do know. know what it is. It's a, it's a free speech know. app. Please stop. Um, anyway, FBI, the, F, <laughs> the FBI, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, they come out and they respond, which I think is interesting. And they say – Quote, the men and women of the FBI work every day to protect the American public. So fucking true. Dot, dot, dot. It is unfortunate that conspiracy theorists and others are feeding the American public misinformation with the sole purpose of attempting to discredit the agency. So I guess my question here is what's the misinformation then? <laughs> yeah. I, and if there's one thing that I've – I, I – Good 
God. If there's one thing that I hate, it's the words dis and misinformation now. <laughs> FBI, Twitter relationship, 5G coronavirus. Get the facts. Exactly. It's like, yeah, I know. You really should have put a fucking thing on that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, just then, then say what it is. What's, 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 what, what are we missing here? Because it looks, I mean, I don't really know how you can interpret these emails any other way. Yeah. You know? Taibi goes on um, in this thread, and he, he kind of details more about the very cozy Clearly, like, increasingly cozy relationship between the IC, the intelligence community, and Twitter. Per internal emails, like we kind of spoiled before, it's not just the FBI or DHS or this, like, very weird special task force that I still don't understand exactly what it stands for. Mm -hmm. Um, It's also the CIA. Yeah. Um, Although they are involved in a very like wink, wink, nudge, nudge way. And I literally mean wink, wink. Like there are emails where they're like, huh, we can't say the name, wink, wink, but we all know who we're talking about. And then someone's like, you mean the agency? Yeah, yeah. And then like one guy like high up at Twitter had used to work for the CIA. So they'd be like, you know, I can't remember. A lot of people actually at Twitter used to work for the CIA so much so that they have an internal Slack channel Oh, no, that's for the FBI. So many yeah. people used to work at the FBI. But I will say, like... They have an internal Slack channel called, like, The Boo. That is for ex-bureau <sighs> employees. God, that gave me... Like, that's like if I just drank a, a whole quart of apple cider vinegar, I get the shivers. Yeah. Um, but I... Uh, for how corny it is, not for how scary it is. Yeah. 